so maybe this way is better. Uh, real quick, before I start cutting out my new skirt um, fabric, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how this works and how things will end up looking. So basically you have um, a left section with a top panel and a bottom section, a middle section um, with a top and bottom and a side, a right section with a top and bottom. And your pattern pieces will literally say that. So you have B is your right bottom band, um, A is the right top, and you can see the side seams, and then you can also see the notches of where each of those will connect. So you can see the side seams and how that all goes together. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then as you see with the middle section, E and F, um, this is gonna be the center of the body. So this will go um, in the back and you'll have it on the fold so it reflects. So you'll really have two of this like we see. And we see a dart here and a dart here that will all cover the um, rear area. <laughs> um, so Normally when we cut out things like skirt pieces, we want to cut everything twice so we have a right and a left, but because this is reversible um, and because it's a wrap skirt, we're going to cut the right and left separately. So you want to make sure that um, whatever you're doing, you're cutting, um, see like each piece out of two fabrics. So this example, I used four fabrics, but even if you don't use four, unless you only have one fabric available, you are gonna, um, you would wanna cut like C in this fabric and then this fabric and then D in both fabrics as well. So you're just gonna be cutting one layer at a time so that you get one um, pattern piece in each fabric and then, um, once you do that, we'll be matching them up and pairing them. But that's basically how the skirt's going to end up um, attaching together. And you just want to remember that you do need two of everything um, since it's reversible. Or if, I think I cut myself off. Or if you're just lining it, you still need two of everything because one of them will be the lining even if it's not reversible. So next I'll show you how to line up the pieces on your fabric. So I forget if I had mentioned, but for my skirt demo, I'm gonna do version one. So I'm just using two fabrics and I'll alternate them on the front and back. Um, so, these are the images for what I'm supposed to be laying out right now on my first main fabric. Um, honestly, also just so you know, I picture these like this because I always work with the salvage on the side. Um, you don't have to have your pieces look identical to the images. They're just to guide you. Um, the most important thing is just that your green lines are parallel to the salvage um, and that you follow the directions in terms of having the wrong side of the fabric face up and whether you have the right or wrong side of the pattern face up. Um, so this is my current layout. You'll notice it looks a little bit different. Um, and that's okay. So I'm trying to line up my pattern. So that's why my pieces are a little spaced out because I pin them based off of the, um, the textile print. So if you wanna do that, that's totally fine. If you don't have enough fabric and you can't keep, um, if you have to turn some pieces so they aren't totally correct on the grain line, that's also okay. Um, it happens to everybody. But as you'll notice, I have the right sides of my pattern pieces facing up. Um, my green line is parallel with my salvage. And I have the wrong side of my fabric um, showing as well. Um, so right now I'm going to cut out one 
um, uh, <laughs> one pattern piece for A, B, C, and D out of this fabric. And then I'm using my table and you can see I get creative. I'm using my um, candles and different things as fabric weights so that my fabric doesn't fly down onto the floor. Um, if you're working on the floor though, that works too. So I'm gonna cut these out and then once I do that, I'll cut out um, E and F on the fold as well. And you'll notice I opted for pinning. This will be straighter. My cat jumped up and messed everything up. I'm also low on pins, so I need to grab some more. Um, but I opted for pinning my pieces in place and I'm just gonna cut them like that. Um, if you pin, do make sure that you're pinning parallel with the edge and not off the edge so you don't have like cut your pins. Um, but like the pattern talks about, another option is to trace your pieces. So if it's easier for you to get an accurate cut by tracing them, you can do that as well. I just don't have chalk. Um, and I find that to be the best way to trace with. Um, but as long as you're accurate and your pieces are laid out properly, whatever you do should be fine. So I'm gonna cut out these pieces um, and then I will get back to you guys.